Hey everyone. Hello. <laughs> Just before we went live there, there was a big bang from the upstairs neighbors, which we actually we don't usually have any noise from neighbors here. No. Very little. It's a very well built building, I guess. Yeah. I'm but not too worried about it. I think there's a just, big bang. I think they just dropped a bowl. A bowling or ball, yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You never know what's going to be happening on the um, virtual session. Indeed. Um, hope everybody is doing well. And I just wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone who came to the Celtic Fiddle Festival concert. Yes, that was a great Sunday. time, great success. So thanks yes. for everyone who stopped by and watched and contributed. And yes. it was a great event all around. So. And it's still available. It will just exist as a regular YouTube video from, from now forward. Um, on this channel if you missed it it's worth checking out um, mm -hmm. my favorite part of it <laughs> was the chat the chat was good yeah there was a, a, a conversation between the four guys in the in the band just about mm -hmm. about life and and um, it's it's quite quite cute if if that's the word yeah. that was the word I thought of when we were doing it yeah. um, okay so um, we're gonna get started quickly uh, with some tunes I don't know if there's new folks here. There might be, since we had a lot of people last week. So if you're if you're back, if you're returning, or you're fairly new, um, I'll go over the two um, pertinent points up front that I always say. And the first one is that this whole thing uh, is run by community contributions. The link is up there. And um, is it heavy yet on yeah, your head? Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> um, I'll put it in the um, in the chat, and it's in the description of the video. And we are nearly up to the 60th session. Next week is the 60th one. Yep. And we're rapidly approaching actually the one year mark yes. of this whole endeavor. Unfortunately, so, we are. Unfortunately. Um, but we've kept it going um, for 60 sessions and paid, um, I believe, something like 200 musicians um, for, their, for their work on these sessions, which is really cool. Actually, I should say you guys did that. So yes. thank you. Um, and what's the second thing I'm supposed to say? Um, oh, the mailing list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mailing list um, is where we send out information about the upcoming sessions, including tunes and special stuff and, yeah, reminders. All Concerts. That kind of Concerts, yeah. yeah. So um, also, sometimes yeah. we've been making a, a really good effort lately to send out the tune sets in advance. We have been making so an effort. So if you're yes. on the ma mailing list, um, you might receive the tune sets and practice for the session. You might. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, okay, that's all, that's all. We'll get started with some um, tunes quickly here up front. So, I was thinking about the tunes to play today, and um, the Irish Arts Center classes just started up um, a little over a week ago. And so whenever those are going, I like to put a few tunes on the session from the Irish Arts Center classes in case anybody has come over from those. And yep. um, this time, uh, we're going to do a tune that is uh, that I taught in the Level 2 class. It's called Return from Fingal. And I'm putting that with two other um, slowish marches. Uh, so we'll start with Donald Blue, which is a, a Scottish march. We'll go into Return from Fingal, and then we'll end with John Brown the Emancipator. Because somehow we haven't played that in like 20 sessions. So that's a Mario's favorite. It's a standard, and I just yeah. I, we haven't played it. So we'll end up with that one. I know it's not super common in other places in the country, um, but it's it's one of our absolute favorites at Mario's. So I'm hoping if you don't know it, you'll learn it. We're going to play these real slow, so even if you don't know them, you'll probably be able to pick them up um, quickly. First one is in the key of D. Yep. Then E minor, e minor and G. G to finish off. Okay. All right, just two times on each of these because we'll go nice and slow. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Drexler, and it's really lovely. Beautiful um, tune. Yeah. All those tunes are nice. Yeah, they're really they're really nice. I I um I think I've known Donald Blue just somehow in my head for a long time, but um I actually learned it to to play with Alan singing. Oh, a song. cool. Um, and I'm forgetting what song he had, but he had it like stuck in the middle of the song, and it That's worked awesome. perfectly for the for the interlude. You should talk Alan into singing a song on the session. Too. It's hard to talk really Alan hard. into singing a song. Um, Might take a lot of money. Yeah, and also Dave Curley, we haven't suggested uh, yeah. succeeded in um, yes. bribing just yet. We got to figure out what sort of liquor they. Yeah, like. yeah, <laughs> that'll probably do it. Actually, we do have a song today, actually, for the yes, first time in quite a, a while, a um, which is great, yeah. but not from Alan or Dave yet. Maybe some out, someone out there knows what what would work for bribing yeah, those guys. Yeah, I probably. bet somebody does. Um, okay, so um, let's see. Somebody was saying that they thought that there were two avocados. Oh. Whoa. What? Did you no. let that in the house? I didn't. No. Well, I didn't. Huh. It must have been toast. Probably toast. Wow. This is um. This is amazing. There are indeed two avocados here. This one looks a little like um, better for the wear. Oh, it has a tag on it. Oh, weird. <laughs> um, and that's the original avocado in the back there. Um, so, okay, we are pretending that we don't know it's there. Obviously, we do know it's there. But it, it arrived in the mail from a shop in Kenai, Alaska, without mm. any name attached to it. So who do you think sent it? I don't know. <laughs> Identify yourselves. <laughs> So yes, we do have a friend for avocado now. Um, she did come. I should. Is she? Is she? I well, I, we don't know. We don't know. As with avocado, but the tag said um, that the dinosaur's name was Delaney Diplodocus. Yeah. Which I guess we could rename her yeah. or him. It's a cute name. It is a cute name. We need to think about all this stuff yeah. before we um, put it in stone. But anyways, yes, we do have now two dinosaurs. Things are getting out of control. <laughs> as if they weren't already. As if they weren't already. Um, and actually, on the topic of the two dinosaurs behind us, um, the theme of today's session is unexpected treasures, which I guess that could be like an unexpected treasure, avocado. like a new That's avocado, true. yes. Um, and so if you do want to send a picture in, you can. The email address is tunes at tune.supply, and we show the pictures later. Um, we have just a, a few today, yeah, three or four. Three or four, yeah. yeah. Um, I keep forgetting to... I, I took that language out of the email and I forget forget to put it back the in. Send us your pictures email. Send it, yeah. Language? Oh. But so you guys know, like it's every week if you want to send us a picture. There's um, always a, th a theme. There's always a theme. Some of them are more serious than others. This <laughs> one's pretty serious. This one's yeah. I guess it could be serious, yeah, definitely. Um okay, so let's go to our leaders for tonight. We have the return of David Munley, who was here a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and wowed us all. Um, with his amazing accordion playing and he has a, a different guitar player. This is Shane McGowan. Not Shane McGowan from the Pogues, we just want to make clear, but um, just as amazing. And I can't remember what they're starting off with. Jigs, is it? They have some jigs, yeah. A couple of um, jigs that hopefully you guys will know. And we just want to say that Dave, uh, like me, likes to play fast. Yeah. And the, the sets are fast, but, but don't manageable, worry. Manageable, though. I they're think. manageable, yeah. and don't worry because we're going to play some more slow sets. We're going to play two more slow sets, and also we have a slower set from James Cleveland, Cleveland one of our guests. So, um Stick, stick in there with the tempo, stick and <laughs> and we'll see you in All a right. in a second. How's it going, Tune Supply? Um, play a few jigs, <clears throat> and uh, the the two jigs I heard, uh, very common here growing up. They're very common. Um, I I think the first one is called the Queen of the Fair, and uh, can't remember the name of the second one. So we'll give these a blast and uh, hope you like Thank you. 
Did a color there at the end? <laughs> Woo! Did a color, yeah. <laughs> we, um, were, we were just trying to count the number of buttons on Dave's The bases, yeah. Accordion. It's, it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> um, it must be heavy, actually, that box. Yeah. yeah. Dave has 18 buttons on the left-hand side, and how many do you have? Um, eight. And I don't know how to play them. <laughs> so... I I don't I don't know anything about accordion, but um, I wonder about that half third row that he's got. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what that is? Is it accidental, sir? I don't know. Huh. We'll have to we'll have to check it's that how out. How he can play so fancy. It's it's magic magical fanciness he does yeah. on the box. It's incredible. Yeah. Um. Okay. So a couple things as usual between the sets. Number one is um, tomorrow. It's tomorrow's the fifth, right? Yeah. Tomorrow is the resumption of Bandcamp Fridays. Yes. Um, which is a holiday that musicians uh, dearly love mm -hmm. um, that was started after the pandemic began in March or April of last year. And uh, Bandcamp is like our preferred platform to, to have music on because the, the organization that runs it or the company is very kind to musicians and does not try to take advantage of them. So um, they started this thing where on the first Friday of each month, uh, all sales made on Bandcamp um, did not have any fees associated with them for the musicians. Usually we would pay a little... Two or three percent. Some sort of... Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyways, they stopped it over the holidays and now it's resuming tomorrow. So just so in case you need music, we um, maintain a list over on our media page of um, the, the Tunesplay artists that have Bandcamp uh, web pages. So you can't click on that, sorry, but you can see what it looks like. And um, it's just over at tune.supply slash media. Um, and you'll find a list of maybe there's 30 or 40 um, people on there. Yeah, that's a great resource for anyone looking to pick up some new yeah. albums. And tomorrow's the day, the day to do it. I mean, any time is the day to do it. But yes. tomorrow is, is great for musicians because uh, we don't have to pay any beats. So, so that's quite excellent. And I think they're going to keep doing it for... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think cool. as long as the pandemic is happening, which hopefully isn't forever. But um, yeah, so that's very nice of them. Um, okay, second thing was we haven't done what are you drinking, the what are you drinking game oh, in yeah. a while. So we were thinking we'd do it tonight because I'm drinking a weird drink. Actually, maybe I should ask if people know what, it, what this is. Okay, it is in a shot glass, but it's not, it's not a shot. It's actually not alcoholic. And um, I just noticed I pulled out the Horfrost vodka oh, shot good. glass from um, Fairbanks. Good. Okay, so that's mine. Um, what do you have? I have well, I have, I have this drink right now. This is um, tea. Well, we all know that Chris and has tea. been on the tea. I've um, been on the tea lately, yeah. <laughs> in the session. This has been nice. Um, okay, this is, I've been all about drinking weird concoctions lately, as you know. Yeah. Um, so this is um, sauerkraut juice. Have you, mm. have you, tried, have you no. tried sauerkraut juice? I don't know if you guys have, but it's it's literally like the juice that's in the bottom of the sauerkraut. Yep. It's spectacular. Full of excellent things. So I'll have It's probably some really that. good for you. Yes, that's why I drink yeah. it. <laughs> you don't drink it for the joy of the sauerkraut? Okay, I actually like it. Have you ever had... Well, I know you have. I know the answer to this. Have you ever had a pickleback shot? Yes. If you go to Mario's, um, she'll provide you with pickleback shot, which she... I first learned about picklebacks from um, Anna Colleton. Ah, Many years Is she ago. she an, an expert in such things? She, you know, when they first came on the scene, they were super popular. She was the first one that I know who was drinking them. Wow. But it, that's a pickle juice, a shot of pickle juice and um, vodka, is it? Or whiskey. Is it whiskey? Yeah. Is it whiskey? Yeah. Um, anyways, this would go well with it would, pickleback. Yeah. Yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so that's my, I actually have two drinks. So that's my first drink. We're interested in what everybody's drinking. We have not been drinking alcohol during the session lately. But I see, I see what your second drink is yeah, over there. Yeah. So we'll, we'll reveal that later. Um, okay, and then on, actually on the topic of the drinks and the, and the theme tonight, I, I, <laughs> I don't remember when Unexpected Treasures popped into my head, but after it did, I thought, well, should, what can I show of Unexpected Treasures? Yeah. Well, I thought of this story that's called The Hot Damn Story, and I'm going to tell it very quickly. Okay. Um, and also, I'm, I'm partly telling it because I'm embarrassed about this story, and I feel... Um, uh, bad about what happened in the end and if anybody can help me <laughs> figure out how to make the situation better that'd be great have you do you know this story i think so but okay so there's maybe show the first two pictures so uh, many years ago my sister rachel and my dad and i went on a winter hiking trip snowshoeing trip up to the top of angel rocks in fairbanks this is probably like 2 p.m yeah. <laughs> in december so that's us getting to the top there okay and there's another picture with my dad Pretty cold, but not, not crazy cold. Okay, while we were walking up, 
We found, wait to show the third picture and okay. talk about, until I tell the story. So we found a bottle of hot dam. Okay. Now, uh, hot dam is a very like cheap cinnamon liquor, mm -hmm. right? Like a plastic bottle style liquor. Yeah. And it was in the snow and we were really, really cold. So I thought, well, this is quite an unexpected treasure, right? And clearly there was nobody around. We couldn't like, nobody else was hiking in the middle of the winter. Oh. So we thought we're just gonna take the hot dam and, and maybe drink it for, for warmth. So there's a picture of me drinking the hot dam here. And it was really, really great thing to have. Mm -hmm. So we hiked all the way up to the top. Um, when we got to the top, oh, we had drank like half the bottle of hot dam by that point. Um, when we got to the top, there were some people up there, uh, surprisingly, and, and we talked to them for a while, and then they said, um, you didn't see a bottle of hot dam on the way up the trail, <laughs> did you? And uh, we were like, we all looked at each other and we were like, no, no, no we didn't. Sorry. What's hot dam? <laughs> And we proceeded down and drank the rest of the bottle of hot dam. And I have felt guilty about this yeah, since ever then. since. So if you're from Fairbanks and you know of anybody who lost a bottle of hot dam on the way up to the top of Angel Rocks 10 or more years ago, please let me know because I'd like to replace the bottle and maybe give them some nice whiskey or something like yeah. that. But the hot dam was an unexpected treasure to find and it really kept us warm in Indeed. the... <laughs> On the adventure so there you go that's my my um, contribution to the to the theme do you have any unexpected treasures prepared no, no? not yet no okay <laughs> i suppose our cat is an unexpected treasure yeah and also the this toothless cat yeah <laughs> okay well we'll leave it there for now and go to some more tunes from uh david and shane enjoy and we'll play another set of reels maybe um the first one is a reel called aggie whites uh, Aggie White, I believe, was a concertina player from Clare. She actually recorded a bit of an album, I think, way back as well. I'm trying to, this is my kind of, you know, face when I start thinking of something, I kind of go all weird. <laughs> Weirder than normal. Aggie White. And the second one is a tune called Bunker Hill. And we leave it at that. Uh, so Aggie White and Bunker Hill.
Hunt. So many notes. A lot of notes. <clears throat> the octaves run running up the scale. Amazing. Yeah. Also, that high when he goes up for the da 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 in the A part there, um, like you couldn't do that on the fiddle unless you shifted. Yeah. So which is would be serious. Yeah. So good. Um, okay, so um, some uh, people have asked us an email how our cat is doing, so we just want to report that the cat did have to go to the vet again last night. Um, did yeah. he just disappear? Yeah, he disappeared. Oh, he knew. He was, it was just here. I was going to show him off. But, um, <laughs> he knew we were talking about him. Yeah, he's been disappeared. he's been hanging out in Chris's accordion case. So that's his, that's one of his yeah. favorite spots. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he had to go to the vet because because he wasn't pooping. Yep. Um, then the vet looked at him and uh, took an X ray and said, "Well, there's no poop stuck in there, so I don't know where it has gone." <laughs> Where do you think it has gone? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, he's doing just fine and um, on pain medication and everything is good. So if he comes back, we'll, we'll show you, yes. show him to the camera. Um, okay, we started a new uh, thing at Tunes Play this week um, that is, we're calling it the Limelight series. And um, we started it because I was thinking we don't feature the individual artists enough That's on true. the roster. So. Um, twice a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, um, we're releasing a short bite-sized video, five minutes or so, um, featuring one artist at a time. And we'll get through as many as we can. We're scheduled into May as of right now, so yeah. there's quite a few. Lots um, of people want to be featured. Yes, as they as they should be. So uh, the first person was Finn. I think we have the schedule for yeah. um, February. There you go. And this, this is up on the, on, um, the Facebook page and all that. Um, so we've had Finn first, and here's his poster. This is not like our normal design aesthetic. It's a little more... Um, it's limelighty. It's limelighty, yeah. yes. So uh, Finn's video is first. It's up on uh, this YouTube channel, and then the next person to go will be Mari Black on Saturday, and we'll just release the videos on all the channels at 5 p.m., and there's no cost for them or anything like that. It's just just for fun. Just so for enjoyment. Hope you guys enjoy those. Um, did Toast come back out? No. Man. I don't know where he is. Here, let me see if I can track him down. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, I think, oh, our next set is one of our guest artists to, tonight. Um, James Cleveland uh, has been on the session before, but not in a, in a really long time, so I am excited to have him back. And James is um, my fellow fiddle teacher at the Irish Arts Center. Um, so I think, I don't know if he's playing tunes that he taught at the, at the classes this week. Oh, Toast is being very shy today. Um, but he's going to be joined by um, Ken Borgeson uh, playing guitar. And Ken sometimes comes to Mario's, but I think uh, often is at Slancha and some of the other sessions around town. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, it's really, oh, there he is. Oh, my goodness. Got him. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Toast. He's on some pain meds right now, so he's still a little, uh, <laughs> he's kind of floppy. Yeah, he's a little floppy. <laughs> Um, so Ken uh, has joined James uh, to back his set, and we're really um, excited to have these guys. So okay. here we go. Hey everybody! Hi Caitlin and Chris. It's good to be back with you again. I'm here with my good friend Ken Borgeson. How are you doing, Ken? Hi James. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, thanks. We're gonna play some hornpipes for you. The first is the Galway hornpipe, followed by "Off to California." and then the Belfast. So D, G, and D. One, two, Thank you. 
Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, James. Thank you, Caitlin. See you soon. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> horn pipes. There's not enough horn pipes no? in the session. Um, that was excellent. I love when um, James is on because he has all that great art behind him. Yeah, it's very it was a beautiful backdrop. Yes, it's perfect for recording. It's it's excellent, and he has one piece of art that is Ken Borgeson on the wall. How how does that work? He's just know. like up there on it. The, it's amazing. Yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> it's like okay. one of those um, paintings in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, that's probably what he has. Yeah, I would not surprise me if James had acquired cool. that. Um, okay, so we have a few community pictures today on the theme, which is. Unexpected treasures, and I'm going to hand it over to Chris to show these. First up, we have Angela Botzer. I don't actually know. Oh, she said it. Yeah, uh, this the, is the a captions. antique shop in, in, in oh, Wyoming. I've forgotten right? where in Wyoming. Yeah. Yes, um, but of course, antique shops always have lots yeah, of yeah, lots of treasures. Lots of treasures. Um, Laura Johnson sent this in. <laughs> which, I guess the unexpected treasure is the session. Um, I think it's Toon Supply in Toon general, supply which in general, I'm really yeah. embarrassed that we to, to put this on um, yeah. because there we are. But um, uh, that, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Susan and Peter sent this in, Unexpected Treasures. Okay, I actually printed there's out, a, I printed this there's off. There's notes I, to go along with Yeah, this there's one, notes, yeah. and I, I'm so bad at this. So, um, Okay, so this is the Unexpected Treasure offering, offering from Chip, which is the dinosaur that they have. Um, the Unexpected Friend is Kermit the Frog, and they're now fast friends. And uh, they also found those daffodils blooming in midwinter unexpectedly. It's 54 degrees cool. in Oakland, California. Wow. Wow. Cool. Okay. Uh, one just came in from Dan Snyder. Um, this was an unexpected guest at lunch. In Big Pine Key, Florida. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Very friendly. I wonder what, um, what was being eaten there. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Okay. Lauren, Maiko sent in a couple from a shrine or something? Yes. Do you have the, the email here? A little shrine uh, from their neighborhood. Um, and we, she said, we have no idea who puts things there. It's usually seasonal. Um, and now, right now, there's a, there's a syringe <laughs> and a troll. I see it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. So cool. that's all the community pictures for today. Excellent. Thanks for sending pictures in. We love to see um, what everybody's up to and where you are and how yeah. things are going um, since we just see our apartment uh, all day, <laughs> every day. In the grocery store. In the grocery store. Yeah. Um, so it's great to see um, see how you guys are all doing. Um, okay, more tunes. Yeah, go okay. back to David and Shane. Excellent. We might play two barn dances again from the same part of the country, Gurchin Calabal. Two tunes. Uh, the first one is called Hazel's Barn Dance. Um, and the second one is a tune called called the Shackpool Post, I think. Yeah, both these tunes again would have been pretty common and would have been played by the likes of Michael Coleman, his contemporaries, um, a few boys around at the same time as Michael Coleman was James Morrison, Paddy Cloran, Pecky Dolan, and um, yeah, they're probably one of the reasons were. Right. Still playing music, I suppose, especially at this kind of a level, you know. So, Hazes and the Shaft Pool Post. D and G. One, two,
Yeah, that second one's great. Great tune. Yeah. Um, Manus McGuire played that on yes. a concert of ours. And okay. I think that's the first time I'd heard it. That's where I remember it from. Yeah. And also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that he taught it in the videos. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that. I think that he taught it in a video that's on our virtual learning playlist mm -hmm. um, on the on this channel. So if you like that one, I, I saw that um, Peter... Was it Peter was saying? Peter Rahill said that he liked that tune. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can go learn it from, from Manus. Yes. Who better than from Manus? Or you could learn it from David. Yes. But you might have to slow it You'd down. You'd have to slow it down <laughs> a little bit. But you could slow it down with the, the um, YouTube setting. Yeah. Hopefully everybody knows about that. Um, do you see this cute scene that's happening oh, here? Oh, that's nice. It's, uh, they love each other. It's amazing. It's amazing, really, how much wear um, Avocado has gotten. Yeah, avocado has traveled all around now. Yeah. Yeah, spent time in Alaska yeah. and, and everywhere. Yeah, quite cute. Um, okay, it's the half half time. So we have our weekly poem from Miriam Buell. Um, uh, like most times lately, I haven't seen it yet. So I'm hoping it features a dog or two. Let's check it out. Okay. Hi, Mario's friends. A very uh, silly poem tonight in honor of Liberace, who another fabulous musician, fabulous in every way. Um, today is National Liberace Day. So, today we cheer Liberace, who was as awesome as Tony Fauci. One was so wealthy, and one keeps us healthy, with a vaccine jab that feels a bit ouchy. Hope you're all staying safe, keeping your distance, wearing double masks, that's the thing now, and please chip into the box if you can, um, help keep this going. Thanks so much to Sean and Sean, Shane, and Dave, our special guests. I apologize if I'm getting the name wrong. Caitlin and Chris, you're our heroes. Don't forget Mary delivers scones. She'll ship scones. They're amazing. She's continuing to feed the um, elderly needy in the Lower East Side. If you can spare a few bucks to pay for a shepherd's pie, I recommend doing that. It will be helping so many people. Miss you so much. See you soon. Take care and eat your kibble. Bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good one. Okay, I didn't know it was National Liberace Day. No, I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. But um, Mimi's always good about knowing what the day the yes. days are. When she yeah. sends out the session emails, she always yeah. knows the days. She must have a secret repository of yes. days to choose from. There's probably a book. Yes, like the word book, yeah. probably. Oh, I'm missing the word book. Oh, okay. Um, um, I saw that Amos, Amos has some white on his chest. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh, I didn't know. Um, uh, Toast has a little bit of white, just a tiny bit, but on the belly. On the belly. He won't yeah. let us show that. No, <laughs> he won't. <laughs> um, that was great. Yes, so Mary Mary's scone business is going well, and the shepherd's pie for um, needy New Yorkers is going well. And if you are friends with Mary O's on Facebook, she's gotten a ton of press just in the last couple of days um, in Ireland, in the U.S., um, it's pretty cool. It's really taking off. So um, you guys knew about it first. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully you have eaten our scones. They're spectacular. Um, I think she might be doing gigantic scones for March. Is that happening? The loaves? Loaves of, yeah. It's a lo soda bread loaf. Yeah. Yeah. They're like uh, 20 pounds. Though. They're <laughs> 20 pounds. They're, <laughs> they're big. We weighed it. It was like eight Oh, that's pounds, right. right? So, yeah. I mean, they're, they weigh a lot. It's a lot. It's a big loaf of bread and it, it's dense. Well, I just realized it weighs the same as toast. Yeah. One it weighs toast. one toast. Um, we'll show you some pictures of those sometime. We, we yes, went up and sampled we them. Those, yeah. yeah, we have the pictures. Um, okay. And before we go to Brenda's song, I wanted to say that we have, uh, Chris mentioned that we're trying to be better about getting the set lists out to you ahead of time so you can practice or learn tunes. Um, when the artists get their tunes to us ahead of time, which is not always, but when they do, we have been putting them up on the soundboard. Um, so right now, Dave's whole set is up there, and John Redmond's for, for next week is there as well. So if you want to um, check over there at any point, whenever we get tunes, we'll put them up there. Yeah. So that's just um, tune.supply slash sounds. Um, and Peter Rahill's limoncello recipe is there too. And Marta a couple Cook's, other good recipes. Marta Cook's pancake, pancake recipe and all sorts of things. Uh, there's a pattern for a flute oh, yes, mask, a flute playing mask. mask. Yeah. yeah. Um, Although I'm not sure how effective that would be. Maybe that's more of a joke. I don't know. I saw that brass players were putting um, pantyhose over their hmm. bills. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking with the flute is like some of the air is going out the it's end anyway. A, yeah. so. I don't know. I don't know. This sounds like a scientific study yeah. is needed maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I mentioned that Brenda Castles is one of our special guests today. 
um, we are trying to rectify the problem of not having enough dancers or singers as of late. Yes. So we had dancer recently. Oh, uh, Kieran. Kieran was on a couple, yep. couple weeks ago, right? Yep. And today we've got Brenda Castles, and then we've got some other singers lined up. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go see Brenda. Hello, all. Uh, how are you all doing? I'm here to sing a song, and Caitlin asked me to do a sing-along song. Um, and so I thought I'd do this one. It's, I suppose, a kind of a sea shanty in a way, and they're all the rage at the moment. So um, it's called Willie Taylor. I don't know if it's really a sea shanty. Somebody else out there will know more about that sort of thing than I do. I just know how to sing it and barely at that. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to sing along, the chorus is a bit silly. It says, uh, Dally dilly dum diddly um dum dum dum. Dally dilly dum diddly um dum day. So yeah, not first time I heard this song, I thought that's just silly. But uh, you get into it. It's kind of rhythmic, percussive kind of thing. So you get into it. And dally dilly dum diddly um dum 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 dally dilly dum diddly um dum day. When you do it quicker, it sounds a little less silly. Um, so this one's about um, uh, uh, this uh, woman, some woman she was, uh, some woman, and uh, she was about to marry Willie Taylor. We never hear her name, like in a lot of these songs, we never know her name. Um, she was about to marry Willie Taylor and off he was whisked. He was, uh, he was whisked off to sea by the Navy and uh, she uh, wasn't too happy with this and she decided to dress up as a man and join the Navy too and see could she find him somewhere. Um, and she got in a fight, a skirmish on the ship and um, it was exposed that she was not what she was pretending to be. It was exposed that she was a woman. And, um, but yeah, the captain was a nice man and he uh, asked her what she was on the boat for. She said, she's looking for Willie Taylor. He said, oh, he's off with another young one. You want to find him? Uh, and he told her where to find her and she went off and shot the two of them. And I would have done the same thing. So sing along. So I changed the strings on my guitar for the first time in two years <laughs> in honor of this. So <laughs> let's hope it stays in tune. It was quite an ordeal. Dum, 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 dum,
for a vessel from the eye of a man. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum dum dum. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum day. Now she's married to the captain. She has servants to command. She cares not for Willie Taylor nor for any other man. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum dum dum. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum day. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum dum dum. Dally dilly dum dilly yum dum. Beautiful. Woo. I got should it. have some applause. I got caught listening to it and yeah. was, was, uh, unprepared. Yes. How about that low note? I know. The last note. Hey. How did she get her voice that low? So great. Um, okay. So let's see. Oh, we had a great picture come in. Actually, three pictures mm. from Lindsay Caton, yes. um, who did a set on the session a while back. We should have her back yeah, she's for great. more tunes. Yeah. Maybe next week because John's on. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, um, we're, we'll just show the picture here because it's, it's too good. So um, that's Lindsay, though her head is not in the picture. And those are her bunnies named uh, June and Ward. And June and Ward actually have their own Facebook page. Yeah, they're like Instagram oh my personalities. Oh, my God. They're in bunny influencers. They're influencers, right? Yeah. <laughs> they look so soft. Um, and I think there's, is there one more? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm jealous. Uh, we have a soft animal, too, but. That's just not that's quite that soft. Much, too much. Um, so um, she sent it to she sent that to us because she was wearing the Toon Supply sweatshirt. Yeah. But I'm I, frankly I'm more interested in the bunnies I think than the sweatshirt. Although the sweatshirts are um, very soft, not as soft as a bunny. No, but they're they're nearly as soft. Nearly as soft. If you can't have a bunny, the sweatshirt. They're as soft as like a dog. A soft dog. A soft dog. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and. Um, the sweatshirts, we just did our last restock of the set sweatshirts before the weather at some point gets warmer. Um, and they just arrived actually to my mom's house where she uh, is running the, the merchandising operations. The, the massive merchandise operation. <laughs> so if you want a sweatshirt, um, grab one soon because we, order, we ordered one of each color in each size to finish, finish off sweatshirt season yeah. over on the store. And that'll be it for sweatshirts until next fall. <laughs> when, who knows what will be happening yeah. We might have a new design. Oh, yeah. We should, we should have Anna do a new design. Yeah. Okay. And the other cool thing that we just got in the mail, I haven't put these on the website yet, but um, Brid Harper is an incredible fiddle player who um, you might have heard on one of our concerts. I, do, I was not aware of her for quite some time. Um, and I, I have said for many years that my favorite CD, a fiddle CD, is Cathal Hayden's self-titled album. Yeah. When I heard Brid's album... Um, she uh, she gives Castle a run for his money on my top spot on yep. the CD list. She's incredible. She's not super well known, and this CD, which is her new one, um, is not available in the U.S. So I asked if she would send us ten of them that we could put on the store, um, which we're going to do shortly. I just haven't had a chance yet. And then she sent us five of her band CD as well. So we'll throw those up soon. And if you're a fiddle um, fan, especially of uh, uh, Northern Irish style styles, this is. This is it. It's just incredible stuff. Mm. Unfortunately, you have to have a CD player in order to listen <laughs> to this music. Um, so that's true. That, I think that excludes us from potential customers. That's that's true. I yeah. didn't think about that. Um, yeah, I don't think I have a CD player. Well, you have one of, like we in have your a, box. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's a beautiful piece of yeah. um, <laughs> beautiful packaging artwork. here, and you could read about the names of the tunes that yeah. you would be hearing. Um, well, that's that's very true. Yeah. No mm. download codes included in there. Well, you have to find a CD player, yeah. and then you can listen to the music. It's great. Um, oh, we're going to play a set. Okay, yeah, we we're going to play a set because um, we have one last set than normal tonight, and we wanted to play some slip jigs. Uh, these are common slip jigs, uh, at least at the Mario session, and I always associate the second one with Felicia Dyer. Oh, we have we to move. move the avocados. The avocados. <laughs> they could just be named Avocado 1 and 2. Yeah. Maybe. Um so the first one is uh, the Fox Hunters in E um, minor. Yeah, uh, Kid on the Mountain in E minor. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Kid on the Mountain in Into E minor. Fox Into Fox Hunters. Yeah. And these are um, multi-part tunes. first one has five parts. The second one has four. So we're just going to do voice. those two and play them twice. Yeah. And we'll go at a reasonable speed here. First one starts like this. And hope you're enjoying along at home. Did Toast get some yeah, fur on your, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your keyboard? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
animals. Both of those sins are about animals, I just realized. There's this uh, story that I tell when I teach Kid on the Mountain. Um, oh, yeah. Do you know the story? I do. I, I won't tell story. it right now. You have to come, you have to come learn the, the tune at some point. Yeah. But, um, actually, did I do that for a, a lesson on my YouTube channel? Sounds like you... I think yeah, I did. I think you did. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, great tunes. And and uh, th those two together always remind me of playing at Mario's because they're, or at least every time I go, we mm. always play those tunes. They are great. Um, okay, we have actually not too much left, but um, uh, our our other big announcement, I was I, I said in the email list, if you, if you get the email, that we started, somewhat unwisely started four giant projects yep. all at the same time to make up for not doing so much over the holidays. We were feeling a little behind, I think, or at yeah. least I was. Um, but we probably should have not started all at the same time. But anyways, it's going fine so far. And so the fourth big project that we are uh, announcing is the next big epic concert. I think we, we mentioned it last time, but yes. um, we have the lineup ready this week. Um, and do we have the poster? We have a beautiful poster. Made by Anna. I love an the, animated poster. An animated, oh, animated poster. Good, yeah. I love the birds courting, perhaps, down yeah. at the bottom of the screen. Um, yes, OK, we had the lineup. And um, I haven't counted yet, but there's something something like 60 musicians. And we're just going to show you the list real quick. So you oh, can, I don't so have you it. Oh, yeah, we do have it, yeah. Right. Um, there's there's quite a Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a few. I like that I can hide behind them. Yeah. So um, if you if you want more information, um, probably best in tr instead of trying to read all those names to go over to um, our website or the Facebook event, and mm -hmm. then you can. Um, are you hiding? Oh no, you're on the side. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can check it out, and then mark your calendars for Sunday, February fourteenth, Valentine's Day, um, at six p.m. Eastern. Yep. We did a little matchmaking. With yeah, mix, which with, is fun. Yeah. yeah, we asked the musicians if anybody wanted to like perhaps be matched up with a performer they'd never worked with, and a couple of people took us up on it. Brave, brave, brave folks. Yeah, I've Got been some saying cool, that, um, cool sets out of it. Too. Yes. Yeah. I've I've been saying that they right swiped. Yeah. A Tinder reference. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's really cool. So there's a couple of people who are playing together who have never met, never worked before, yeah. together before. It'll be great. Um. Okay. Tunes. Oh, this is a solo set. Solo set from David Munley. Yes. yes. Um, I forget what he's playing on this. Some reels, maybe? I think reels. I think some reels, yeah. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Right. We'll continue with uh, another couple of reels. And uh, this first reel, it's it, kind of another Sligo, kind of a variant of a, of a, and made popular by the Sligo musicians again. And it's a version of the Dublin reel. And some of the Sligo musicians pl played this with four parts. I heard this first played by a great flute player called Peter Horn. Again, from around the same townland as the people I mentioned earlier on, around Gorchin and Calabra there, I believe. And uh, he used to come down to Mayo a lot. He had a great time for Mayo. And um, he used to come down an awful lot to a pub called Matt Malloy's Pub in Westport. A pub I kind of grew up in playing music. And... Um, this tune is very much a Sligo, kind of a Sligo flute tune. It's very common in a, in the key of D in three parts. But but this is, just for a bit of development, I'll give you a kind of the Sligo version of it. In G and a fourth part. And you, you'll hear the fourth part, it's, it's in the second part, it's a bit different. The other three parts are the same. And then we'll play something else after that, if that's okay. Just again to give you a... Starts off the same note. One, two,
two uh, sessions style uh, kind of I lost my foot in there for a minute but I think I'm back into it anyway they're two pretty well common tunes so <laughs> amazing um, absolutely amazing well, almost lost the footing there but <laughs> we all recovered you know it's a good skill to be able to recover mm -hmm. when uh, when something starts going wrong indeed in music yep um, Dave just uh, recorded his set for Valentine's Day, uh, the Valentine's Day concert, and we just listened to it, and um, it's good. It's really yeah, good. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. His playing is like, um, there's so many layers to it. It's, yeah. it's, it's incredible. Um, okay, we have one more set from uh, Dave and Shane, David and Shane. Before we do that, um, we'll just remind you that um, the subscriber series, the February subscriber series, is happening. Uh, we're yep. halfway through the first week, which is one lesson per day. Mm -hmm. um, and there are two more weeks uh, upcoming. Next week is trad performances, so instrumentalists. Um, and the third week is uh, trad singers. So you can still jump on for either or both of those or all of them. Um, if you sign up now, you'll still get all the videos that have already happened. Um, do, you want, do you have the posters? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. And then actually the song one has an extra, there was one more singer than I had room for. So one of the days has two performances. I can't remember which one. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's why there's nine singers. I see. Um, and Alan and Emer are doing a duo right, performance. Right, right. So that's all over on the Tune Supply store if you, if you want to join us. Um, okay, we have been doing a silly thing the last couple of weeks, which is the words of the week from this book of uh, forgotten words. Cabinet of Linguistic Curiosities. Okay, so um, as usual, we're going to put the words up on the screen and you can let us know what you think they mean. So first word is Lewishan, mm. spelled like that. It's a noun, yep. okay? And the second word is twinkle. Uh, it's a verb and um, to me, twinkle seems like something that would have been invented in 2020. Yeah. Like on the internet. But it's actually not. It's from 1905. It was the first time twinkle was used, just so, yeah. so you um, can uh, take that into account when you tell us your definitions. Um, while you're doing that, I'll real quick tell you what's happening next week. Um, next week is the 60th online session yes. of, of uh, Spike. And uh, of course, we asked John Redmond and Matt Stapleton to do the 60th session. Who else? Who else could do it besides them? Uh, the theme, as as per John's request, is the first tune I ever learned or remember learning. Yep. Um, so do with that what you will. You can just bring the name, or you can you could record a video of yourself playing that tune and send it to us. We could put it on session. That's an that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, who are the guests? Oh, um, we have uh, the new Tunes Play favorite. Yes. Aiden Connolly. Aiden Connolly with his um, friend who we've never met. Yeah. Well, we've never met Aiden, and we've doubly never met Aiden's friend. Yes. Um, Cesar Pastor, who I believe leave, lives in Madrid. Yes. And is a great piper and reed maker. Yes. I, I, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Or I didn't know it when uh, yeah. Aiden got hooked up with him. Um, yeah, so that'll be a treat. Um, and then just looking ahead, the following week, we have... Um, Matt Stapleton, uh, sorry, Matt uh, Mancuso, and Colin Farrell. Oh, yes. We haven't put that one up on YouTube or Facebook yet, but no. it's happening. Yeah, that'll, that'll be great. Um, um, great crack, I'm sure. We'll happen then. Um, and I was thinking that we should do, like, a game. We haven't done bingo in a while, so maybe next week we'll do bingo yeah, for, game night. Yeah. for 60th. Yeah. Try to find a good present. Oh, you know what would be a good prize? Some scones for Mary. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or a loaf of the new bread would be even oh, better. Oh, a loaf of the new bread yeah. would be great. So we'll we'll rig that up for next week. Okay. Did did, did anything happen? We have here? some good okay. definitions coming in. Okay. Yes. Let's Twinkle see. is when you twist your ankle. Yes. Oh. Um, Lewishin, washing something maybe. Okay. Lewishin is the loss of fluidity. Uh huh. When I misbehave, my mom would twinkle me. <laughs> I like Kurt. Kurt says my definition was too dir too dirty to yeah, post. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, twinkle is when your tweets rankle. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. Tuition at Louisville University. Tuition is when you can't pay back your tuition. <laughs> These are good. These are good. Very clever. Okay. Twinkle, when your twin socks match. Okay. 
All right. All right. I don't know who won that one, but I'm going to tell you the defi- definitions. Okay, I'm going to tell you Lewishin first. Um, I've never heard this word before. It is the act of paying a ransom. Oh. So um, ransom started out meaning something completely other, other than it does now. Actually. I did not know that. Yeah. Um, it, uh, for example, like the word redeem, which is of the same root as ransom, used to mean to save someone's life by oh. paying a ransom. Interesting. And it has changed now to not be related to wow. necessarily to life. But anyways, um, Lewishin uh, is a word that came from uh, the early 1300s. Wow. Very old, ancient word. Very old word. Yeah. Okay. And then Twankle. This is great. So these are these are like the actual dates of the book, for February 4th, and then yesterday was Twankle, which works really, really good. It is um, to play idly on a musical instrument. Oh. And um, according to the English Dialect Dictionary from 1905, to twinkle is to twang with the fingers on a music instrument, music instrument. Um, also known as twiddling, twangling, tootling, noodling. Oh, we still do noodling. I would say noodling, yeah. Plunking, thrumming, toodling, or the last one, which we're going to put up on the screen right now because I love it, is doodling, which means to perform badly. <laughs> I have been guilty of doodling. Oh, in yes. The past. Lots of doodling, especially in the yeah. last year. <laughs> okay, great. So we will continue our, our um, words of the week um, as we go on here. Thanks for playing the game with us. Um, okay, uh, one more set of tunes. Yes, one more. Uh, it's a great set of slides from David and Shane. So we'll play a couple of slides now. And um, slides and polkas, people, they, they wouldn't be as common as reels and jigs to learn um, but, but they're, they're, they're gorgeous melodies and um, some people say they're simpler I, I, I don't think so I, I think they can be as contrary as any reels or jigs and um, I played three that just comes to mind now but the first two I heard of an album one time by Jackie Daly and Seamus Cray the album that, that Seamus sang the Taylor Vaughan the song the Taylor Vaughan man and um, they're, they're two kind of unusual slides, but they're nice. And the third one I go into is a tune I learned from Jackie Daly again, the great Jackie Daly. And it's a tune I believe called Nora Crina. So we'll try these. And uh, the D all the way through. The second one's a bit weird, it goes off in a variant. Uh, the first part. We'll give it a go. One, two,
Yes. <laughs> not enough slides. Not enough slides. I love slides. I do too. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, at least at sessions that I attend, there's not very many slides yeah. played here, but maybe that's my fault. So, we should uh, definitely do some. We didn't have the name of that last tune because I couldn't understand the name, name of it. Nor could I, but in Irish. I realized um, we should have asked Emer. Yeah. She could have told us. But I'll put it on the screen now so you can see what that was. The third, oh, it's tiny. The third slide, Nora Karina? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Dave uh, WhatsApped me that yeah. that name right before the yeah. uh, the session started. Nora, Nora Karina, yeah. I think. Yeah, that that's amazing. I got to learn that one. Um, there's a lot of um, punning going on in the comments regarding the word twinkle. I just want to know. Yes, yeah. It's quite it's quite clever. Um, I like this one. Uh, can't wait to get together in person with the local tw local twinklers. <laughs> <laughs> or I liked um, Bob Lewis said, uh, no twinkling oh. when your Zoom is not on mute. <laughs> yes. That's it's, very 2020. Yes. Well, I guess that's very 2021 now. Yes. And it sounds dirty, too, when yes. it isn't, which is, which is great. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're just going to do one more set of tunes here to end off. Perfect timing. Um, we picked some common ones to end with. Classic Mario's tunes. Yes. Um, the Silver Spear uh in d banshee in g and father kelly's in g um so we hope you can play along let's do three times each on these because sure. why not last one um and then we'll do our thank yous and all that yeah. afterwards all right <laughs> We should have hashtag not too fast. Yeah. Buttons made. Okay, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
probably add to the end of the of the words there yeah um well i don't know exactly what happened there the i think we played a little of all the tunes <laughs> yes by we you could say i caitlin played a little bit of all the tunes in the wrong order and uh different parts here and there father banshee father banshee, father Good. banshee. <laughs> it's it's um those tunes are pretty similar in the a part they are similar yeah um i'm just gonna make excuses for mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> All right. You never showed off your other beverage, by the way. Oh, I, yeah, I did have an. Okay, I I have always been a kombucha fan, by the way, but um, this kombucha is a really strange flavor. It's what is it? horchata flavored. Oh, it sounds good. It's really good. It's not something I would think of for yeah. for kombucha, but yes, I've been enjoying this kombucha on the side. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, and you didn't show up. Yeah, yours? oh yeah, I have. Um, I switched to whiskey for tea. <laughs> Because it's, it's almost 10 o'clock. So. It's time for some whiskey. Um, this is some Aberlauer 12 that we got when we played the Aberlauer gig the other day. Yes, um, that was a, that was, that's a good perk of playing gigs for Aberlauer. Yeah. Is sometimes some whiskey appears as part of your payment, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is great. Um, anyways, okay, uh, we've, made, we've made it to the end. Do you want to do the thank yous? Yeah, um, I do. Excellent. <laughs> um, it's been great to have David on again, yes. second appearance on the session. So thank you, David Muddley and Shane McGowan. Thanks for backing him up. And let's see, James Cleveland and Ken Borgeson or Borgeson. I think Sorry, it's Borgeson. Uh, yeah. I, James said it in the video and I forgot. Yeah. So Ken and James, thank you guys. And Brenda also for the lovely song. Yes. And uh, we will hope to see you next week for the 60th session with um, John and Matt. And um, if you're able to throw a few bucks in the jar, there it is um, above Chris's head. Um, that, of course, allows us to keep this whole thing running, as you know. Um, I was just thinking when, when I uh, wrote that we had the 60th session next week, like, how long is this going to go? I could see us doing this until the summer, at least. Whew. All right. Well, I mean, they're reopening we'll indoor dining in New York on Valentine's Day, actually. Yes. Which seems premature. Seems but. premature, but um, we we were 
actually we should have um, shown the picture of what it looked like outside yeah, yeah. there was a big snowstorm here in new york yes and, we uh, had 17 or 18 inches of snow this week yeah there's a lot and of course outdoor dining is a thing here and uh they closed it down for one day but then the yeah. next day they reopened it and we went on a walk in there's it's pretty funny there's all these like ramshackle huts in the middle of the street with huge piles of snow around yeah. them and people sitting inside bundled eating yeah you can't keep electric it. space heaters and everything it's great. <laughs> you can't you can't keep new yorkers from going out and having a good no. meal which i really respect quite we've been out a couple <laughs> times like but yeah it's it's cold now. only once since the, yeah. the winter yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyways maybe we'll show a picture next time um okay so we'll see you next week and yeah. um for uh, session number 60 yeah there's, there's not much more to say than that. No. All right. <laughs> okay, Good night. bye.